All right, everybody, good evening to episode number 36, special edition, because we have celebrating Easter tomorrow. Here I am with Kane Wazalanchuk. Kane, what's up, buddy? What's going on? What's going on? How you doing? Doing all right. You know, we've been we've been working our asses off. We've been uh, we're, we're yep. finally yep. we're getting closer to our chapter one of the experience. And uh, you and I both said it was important to get on here and just kind of talk about it, the differences, and and also thank some people. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean it's been uh, it's been a little bit overwhelming. Obviously, I mean we we knew that this uh, will be you know this experience would be different, um, but uh, you know the amount of support that we've gotten um has been amazing and obviously that's part of uh the show tonight too as well yeah I, I gotta be honest you know i was talking with veronica today and there hasn't been an irt event or anything and i'm excited to see you on the court like i'm looking forward to seeing kane back on the racquetball court yeah. you know even though there at times it's going to be against my team in in florida and then at the end of the weekend it's going to be us playing each other you know I'm just excited to do that. That's going to be some fun. So yeah, know, it will be some fun. It will be, it will be. Much, I mean, right? I'm, I, I mean, for a little while there, I was a little disappointed. I had to get on the court and actually hit the ball a little bit, but <laughs> you know, that's okay. That's okay. No, nah, it's been good. It's been good to have a reason to get back onto the court and, uh, and hit some balls and, and play with the guys too. Yeah. It's, it's been interesting. And you and I will talk more after our guests leave about, you know, the plans and what we're looking to do. But you know, with that Kane, Let's bring in uh, your good friend from Savant Consulting and, of course, you know, Williams Accounting, a friend to racquetball all over the world, always supportive, uh, Donald Williams. Many of you know Donald, and Kane and I wanted to bring Donald in tonight and say thank you. Donald, how are you, my friend? I am fine, my friend. How are you? We're, we're great. Kane and I are always happy to see you. You know, you're... you're you're just an amazing supporter of the sport. A lot of people know you, right, Kane? And a lot of people don't. But Kane, talk a little bit about Donald and, you know, what he's done for you and, and just your relationship. Yeah, well, I mean, so, our, you know, I'm fortunate that I have a personal relationship with Donald as well, which is, uh, um, you know, um, really cool. Uh, it started out uh, with him sponsoring, obviously, uh, the tournament in Atlanta and, and uh you know, and we immediately, um, you know, we immediately became friends. I mean, it was uh, um, really cool. And, and then ever since then, I mean, he's been a tremendous help and support for me and, and not only me, but my family as well, too. And, and, uh, and once again, uh, you know, here he is uh, supporting, you know, what we're doing. So uh, obviously I appreciate it, but I know I speak for both of us when we say that we really appreciate that. Donald, tell, tell, tell us a little bit about your love for racquetball. What makes you love it so much? I mean, you always smile and you always have so much energy and we know you're working your ass off. So, <laughs> you know, just, just tell us a little bit about that and, and, and your love for racquetball and where it comes from. Um, actually, I've always, I saw it one day on television. I've never been an athlete, um, never liked sports, um, never been the type of guy for that. But one day I was in LA Fitness and... Um, this lady beat me. I wanted to try it. And a woman beat me. Uh, even though, you know, the person I am, people don't know it, but I'm very competitive. And that's when I learned how to play racquetball because I was beat by a, a woman. So I was like, oh no, you just can't. So I played and played until one day I finally beat her. But of course, you know, to compete and stuff like that. And then started playing and giving tournaments. I did small shootouts and everybody was so supportive, especially in the state of Georgia. So I was just like, I mean, everybody was supportive and I like the people. I like to interact with them. Um, and they're super nice to me. So it just makes it easier to fall more in love with the sport. Yeah, and, and, and the sport definitely loves you. You know, you, you've done so much for it. You continue to do, you know, and you support a lot of, a lot of the players out there, you know, not just Kane and obviously not just I in, in our experience here, but I know you have personal relationships with the Bread and Becks and, and some others. And, you know, you, you're picking the right people. And tell us though about your businesses a little bit, because, you know, we know you're super competitive. I mean, the name of your book, for those of you that don't know, Donald did release a book and it is called, and Kane, if I'm correct, right, Donald, it's uh, eat, uh, you kill, wait, eat what you kill, correct? Eat what you kill. And it's very com competitive. If you don't compete, if you don't go out there and get it, you won't have nothing. And um, it's even when I first opened my first office location, brick and mortar, People told me like, hey, there's another tax preparer in that building. That's not going to be good for you. And I was like, I love competition. I'm up for it. 
And I even ended up being her accountant. So that's what I strive for. I like competition. I like to compete and I like to achieve goals. Um, but I own an accounting firm. Um, I've always been good with numbers. I, someone should have told me that accounting just isn't just numbers. Um, you do have to actually. Do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if I'd have known, I would have went into, you know, a different field, but I love doing accounting and I started not, with accounting, you know, you hear people, different types of businesses and ideas, and I'm sitting up there consulting, doing more research, you're getting in depth. So that's when I started Suvant Consulting because I was helping so many of my clients elevate their business and get to the next level. And Suvant means French, I mean, next in French. So, and I was just like, okay, hey, this is what I'm gonna go with. And I like helping and working with people. And it's like, you know, raising kids, you see the business and you see it thriving and surviving and it flourish. And that's where it, it just gives me that rush. And I like doing that. I love helping and working with others. Yeah, I mean, you know, Donald, when Kane and I were, were set out to do this, one of the things, and Kane, I know you could talk on this, we, we both agreed very heavily that we didn't want to rely and, and really go to people and say, please help us and please do this. But, you know, Kane talks so highly of you and your relationship and what you've done with him. And, you know, I have a question, you know, Kane, Kane kind of answered it, but, you know, what <laughs> What was it about supporting Kane and I in this experience that we're really trying to create this unique experience for racquetball players, you know, that, that you wanted to be part of? Well, I mean, you both, you know, you guys are legends. Um, and of course, first off, you know, he's my big brother. He's older than I am. Um, so he's my brother. Gotta point that out. I gotta point that out. Is that, that, is that out. true? Wait, wait, wait. Time, time, I'm calling the timeout, right? Scotty, what do we get? One timeout a game? Uh, yeah, that's a timeout right here. Is, is yeah. that true, Kane? Yeah, yeah, and you can't yeah. go off the court to appeal. <laughs> All right, well, well I, I mean, I got, I got Scotty, he can go to so Kane. Wait a minute, I know Kane's gonna be 39 in November or 40? 40. 40. Okay, so Donald, how old are you? Because you look like 25. That and we're going with that. No, and what a day over, <laughs> Kane, for real, Donald's younger than you, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> But I'm not, not gonna. I'm not gonna take that like I look old. <laughs> I mean, I'm just. I'm, I'm just. I'm not gonna take it like that. I'm just gonna take it like that was like one of those things that he just really didn't realize how old you know that you were younger. You know, not, had nothing to do with me really. Yeah, but again, of course, you know, my brother. And he, when I saw it, I was like, "Hey, he is. He can tell you." I hit him up. He didn't even call me and ask me. It's like immediately I had to be a part of it. And I think it's a need because you guys have such great skill set and talent that, you know, and I mean, people would appreciate it and to share that experience. And I mean, you guys are the legend goat and some people can only imagine being on the court with you all. So you guys are allowing them that experience. That's something of, you know, my, priceless to me and valuing an experience that you guys are giving them. So, I mean, I took my hat off to you. It's awesome that you guys are doing this. Yeah, Donald, I mean, you know, speaking for, for myself and, and, and Kane, you know, in this case, since Kane and I are, are working so closely and, and really trying to do a lot of different things, we can't thank you enough. And, you know, that Saturday night for anybody that's watching, you know, chapter one of the experience in Vero Beach, Florida, we're going to have a great dinner Saturday night. But that guy right there, Donald Williams, is the one you need to thank for that. And uh, we're still trying to get you down for the dinner. We know you're busy, but we also know that a flight from Atlanta to Orlando is not that bad. Is it possible you make a guest appearance? I may do a little surprise pop up. I'm gonna leave that. I'm, I'm trying to work some things out. Um, I mean, as you can see, I just became a godfather G pop. So I'm trying to squeeze all of that time and stuff in, you know. But of course, I love hanging out with Kane and um, Ali, and of course, I love hanging out with you. And you guys are supporting me as well. So, I mean, it's only right. And it, I think that when your family is not something that needs to be asked, it's something that's understood. And I really appreciate you guys, what you guys done for me in January is, you know, you know, it was heartfelt and it touched my heart. So I was like, hey, whatever you need me to do, I'm there. Very supportive. So we'll see you Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let me pull these things. I'm pulling some things I'm together. Just saying, we'll see you Saturday night. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean that, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. So Donald, you know, we know you're busy. We know mom's in town and you, you carved out a few minutes for us. So we yeah. appreciate that again. And uh, we're going to let you go, but we do, Kane and I both hope to see you, you know, that night. And I would love to see you guys too as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue working on it and get that to you guys. But I really appreciate you guys. Um, I'm, I know I'm speaking for the racquetball community when I say this. 
thank you. Thank you both um, for doing what you're doing and giving back. And I mean, the people that are playing are honored because like I said, you know, when you're not a pro player, you can only dream to compete against pro. And you guys are making some people dreams come true. So I want to thank you both for doing that. And people like myself wishing, you know, we can compete with you guys. And it's awesome. You guys have a combined of, you know, 50 years of experience amongst each other. So, I mean, I think that's amazing and awesome. And thank you guys for doing that for them and people like myself. Thank you, Donald. Thank you for the words and, 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 and everything else. And we'll see you very soon. So see thanks again. Soon. Have a great night. Scotty. All right. All right. See you, Donald. <laughs> Bye, big bro. <laughs> Later. Later. <laughs> I can't believe it, right? I mean, what what a guy though, right? I mean, just just I mean, a great guy, King. Yeah, I mean, you know, the uh what was it for Malin's birthday? He bought her a, a bike for her birthday, just showed up on the front doorstep. Just amazing, just so giving, so amazing. I mean, even if you follow him on uh on Facebook, I mean, in Christmas, you know, he had this this gift drive and it was like, I mean, I don't even know how much. I mean, it's like ten thousand dollars or At something. Least. I mean, I saw something. That, yeah. I mean, just toys and toys. And I mean, that just goes to show, you know, uh, how big his heart is. And I mean, it's just, uh, it's an, it's an amazing. And we're really, really lucky um, to have, you know, Donald a part of racquetball. And and uh, you know, we uh, we want more Donalds around. And 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 that's a fact. Yeah, and 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 like you said, you know, he just did it from his heart. He, he's like, yeah, I'm yeah. in. Because you and I, you know, a big thing was, you know, we're, we're doing this together on our own and, and we've been fortunate and we've been blessed, you know, Kane and I, we have that there's been a lot of support and people have come to us that have wanted to help us and, and, and be part of, of our journeys and what we're trying to accomplish. And we appreciate that greatly. And, and this was something, you know, you and I took and said, let's do this on our own, but still a couple of people reached out and said, Hey, I want to be part of this. And he was one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, uh, again, like you said, I mean, we just kind of wanted it to, to be us. And, uh, and uh, I didn't, I, you know, it's funny cause we, we kind of struggled with that one a little bit, you know, and, yeah. and kind of like, you know, do, you know, do we really want to do, you know, how are we going to go about it? There are a lot of people that, that uh, reached out to, to help support and, and uh, you know, that's a difficult conversation to have kind of when like, listen, we kind of want to do it on our own and, and, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, but again, overwhelming, uh, just um, the support that we got the whole way through. Yeah, you know, Kane, something that sticks out, and for us, it's an awesome journey to be doing this together, but something that sticks out to me that you and I will be able to talk about forever is when we did this, it's totally like against the way that racquetball events and things have been done in, in our entire, in our entire lives. Right. Because we're so used to every event, people going to, you know, directors or organizers or sponsors saying, gimme, 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 right? Like we need this, we need that. And, and we did not you know, we did it our way, you know, we did it a different way, just the same way you've done everything you've done in your career on the court and, and the same way I did. And uh, we're showing that, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's hopefully going to continue to work and, and be something cool, not just for us, because yes, it is our job, right? We're working. There's no doubt about it. But like for all the people that are going to be part of these experiences moving forward, Brian uh, o Omelin, Omelian, I like to say, you know, he, he made a comment. It says dreams do come true. And that right there, like that makes me feel good. You know, like, like Donald touched on it to get on the court with you uh, or to, or to play with us or to compete against us. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, I, I, one of the things that we, you know, obviously we touched upon too, as well is, is, uh, you know, how different it's going to be and how different we wanted it. And I think that that, um, you know, I, I think that it could be argued that, you know, uh, things that have been done, you know, is it's kind of getting stagnant, you know, it's, it's not really, and, and there's nothing wrong with some of the stuff that we're currently doing. It's just, it kind of, you know, you just kind of need to give it a little shock, you know, a little change. And, uh, this is an opportunity for us to do that. Um, and, uh, and give, like you said, you know, uh, uh, you know, give someone an opportunity to have, you know, a dream come true, which, uh, you know, is, is, uh, is awesome. I mean, that's an amazing feeling to be able to, you know, give somebody that. Yeah. And that's something, you know, for everybody watching that, that might be sitting there, the doubters saying, Oh, well, you guys are making X amount of this or that. Listen, Kane and I are working on a lot of things where, you know, hopefully we can, you know, if there's ever, for instance, a make a wish that wants to play racquetball with Kane, 
he'll do that. You know, so yeah, there's different types of dreams and, and there's different things we can do together to help and promote the sport. But, um, you know, with that said, Kane, let's, uh, let's say hello to Mari Cruz Ortiz, one of the ballers, the first. All right. She's online, so she will be seeing her hit some bombs. You're going to be impressed with that, I promise. And uh, with that, Scotty, let's bring in our second guest of the evening and uh, somebody that wanted to be part of the experience as well. Many of you know him. Uh, you definitely know his brand and know his company as Rollout in racquetball. I'm wearing the shirt. I'm representing. Uh, Scotty's getting that in there. We're, we're bringing him in. And there he is. Jonathan Clay on the How are you doing, guys? We, we got to get you horizontal. There you go. There, there you go. go. There you go. <laughs> I, had to reset the, I had to reset the phone. What's up, buddy? How are you? Good. How are we doing, guys? Good. We're doing, we're doing well. And, and of course, first, before we get started, Kane and I both want to say congrats on the baby, five months old. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's been a busy, whirlwind. Busy, busy, mm -hmm. busy. That's I, I, before you came on, Ken, I said, that's why I'm stuck in the basement right now because he's trying to go to bed. So I kind of banished myself down to the basement so I wouldn't keep him up. <laughs> Some people would call that a man room. <laughs> it, it is actually, I'm, I'm I, listen, I did, I did strategically set up the camera with Mark Messier over my left shoulder. Oh, so you're I, trying I, to make it I look like so. a man cave already. It's just a man. <laughs> I got it. Exactly. I like it. You got to start somewhere. Exactly. Okay, when, when we go to his house, we'll, we'll change it up a little bit. We'll mix it. We'll mix up that, that cave room a little bit more. Jonathan, you know, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, you know, you're, you're a legend in the sport. Rollout racquetball has really been to me and Kane, and we'll get to that, you know, the most professional and, and quite frankly, the best gear we've seen, you know, there's a lot of companies out there. They do a good job. And, you know, there's just something a little different and you touched on it about what it means to you as far as your livelihood and you can get into that or not. But Kane and I wanted to bring you on to personally thank you for, you know, reaching out to us and wanting to be part of the experience. So with that, you know, we'd really like to hear from you, you know, what, what inspired or motivated you to be part of that? Uh, so it's, it's really, it's two things. Um, so uh, as you said, first of all, thanks for all the kind words. You know, I have been around the sport for a long time. You know, and I've been involved in all the tours and USA Racquetball and all the different, you know, tried and true things that racquetball has to offer for a lot of years. And, you know, I think we've done a really good job of it. But to be honest, it, it kind of got a little bored, boring over time, you know. And, and for me now in racquetball, you know, and, and Kane, you touched on, I was listening a little bit before I came in, you know, it's outside the norm. And the biggest word I want to use is it's different. You know, I'm really, really interested right now where I am and where I believe my company is in racquetball in being involved in things that are different and outside the box and, you know, but bucking the norm of the sport a little bit, you know, so when you guys came to me and, and we talked about this, I was like, this is really cool. This is different. This is not, you know, a camp. This is not a, a tournament. This isn't, hey, we'll put a court sticker on a wall. It, it just wasn't that typical <laughs> you know, pitch, and it's not even the right word. It wasn't a pitch. It wasn't the typical story that you hear from racquetball. And I was like, you know what? This is different. You know, you know, you hear a lot of sports, people use the term, you know, betting on themselves. To me, that's kind of what you guys are doing with this. You know, you're not doing this with a tour. You're betting on yourselves. And the proof is in, you sold the thing out in what, 48 hours, less than 48 hours. Um, so, you know, that was another thing that I saw. I was like, man, this is, this is legit, you know? This is cool. This is different. So, I mean, that was the big thing that drew me to it. And the other thing, you know, Sudsy, sorry to not, you know, listen, you guys are both absolute legends of the sport. And at the end of the day, as much as I've been involved in racquetball, I am still a fan. I love the sport. So to be involved with, with the two of you guys, it, it, it's, it's special. You know, I, I, Kane, you probably don't even remember this because you never would, but I always make it a point uh, after every U.S. Open to come up to you after you win and I shake your hand and I say, it's a pleasure to be a part of the sport while you're in it. Um, and I'm sure I'm one of a gazillion people that says stuff to you after the tournament, but I truly mean that. You know, it's a pleasure to be in this sport during your reign in the sport. You know, so when you guys and Kane comes to me with something like this, uh, I can't not do it. You know, it's, it's part of that. I don't want to pass it up now and, and not have the chance. You know, I want to be a part of you guys. So those are really the, the two big things for me. Um, and I'm, I'm honored to be working with you guys. 
Kane, I, I mean, you should comment next. I, I, that was awesome. I, I don't. I yeah, gotta... <laughs> yeah. Well, I, as a matter of fact, thank I you. Do. I do know that, you know, uh, what, for the better part of, I don't even probably know, 10, 11 years, I think you've been doing it, I, right? If I'm somewhere in there, right? Uh, 2009, yep. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, you know, well, thank you, obviously, um, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, we've, we've done a little bit, a tiny bit of business early on, early, early, early on. Yep. Uh, yep. When rollout first uh, happened, so a little history with you, and obviously, you know, um you know, just uh, the tremendous uh, uh, love that you have for the game. Um, obviously, you can you can see it, and and uh, you know, and obviously, as a professional, I appreciate I appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, you know, when Suds and I were really talking about it, it was really a no brainer for us. Just like you said, it was a no brainer for you. Um, you know, you, the quality of the gear, and obviously the lengthy support of uh, racquetball in general uh, made it a very easy choice. And uh, of course we, uh, we appreciate you jumping on board and we're excited to have you on board. Thank you guys. Yeah, it's going to, it's definitely going to be a great run. And, and obviously, you know, Kane and I wanted to make this super high, you know, high level uh, top shelf across the board. So, you know, thank God Jonathan came in Kane, because obviously our expensive items would have been much greater, our, our P and L. So, Jonathan, for some of the people that are watching, some of the people that, you know, might be part of chapter two of our experience, which Kane and I will discuss later, uh, which you will be part of, you know, our, our relationship is much further, not just chapter one and not just chapter two, uh, but we'll leave it at that. You know, what, tell some of the, some of the ballers that will be attending, you know, what's different about what they'll be receiving, say, from, from rollout versus your normal camp or clinic or tournament? You know, I mean, it's the way I look at our stuff is, you know, there, there, there's no secret sauce in, in, in what we do. We pick great garments. I think our designs are great. We work with you guys. I mean, you guys came to us with a cool design. We tweaked it a little bit. The, the stuff, the gear everyone's going to get is killer. It's really cool. Um, but, you know, you know the, we take a lot of pride in what we do. And, you know, one of the things you touched on before is, yeah, we're not the only, you know, clothing in the game, but, you know, we've I've been doing this a long time, you know, and, and we're not a, you know, I, I call them hobby shops. We're not a hobby shop. We, this is what we do. You know, this is how I take care of my five month old baby. So we really, really focus on finding the best garments, putting designs together that are cool and then helping promote, you know, and helping uh, grow the partnerships that we have. You know, we're not just a, you know, you didn't just come to us and say, Hey, you know, print me 50 shirts and we'll see you later. You know, the way I look at this is a real partnership. We're working with you guys. Like you mentioned, this is not a, you know, one thing we'll talk to you later, maybe if we do chapter two or three or five or six or whatever, you know, this is let's create a relationship, let's create a partnership and let's create something that we truly are working together on, um, on a common goal. So, you know, I, I, the, the, the ballers are going to be getting some, some pretty sick gears. It came, it's, it came out really cool. Yeah. So obviously I, I had to go turn on the light. So I missed a little bit of that, but so, uh, obviously we, we told them that obviously this is going to be a long-term, obviously I mentioned, you know, the next, however camps we do, obviously I didn't hear that. So I just wanted to make sure that we got that in then. We, we did. And we also said, we never are going to call it a camp. So, and I, I'm glad you put the light on now. I could see you. Yeah, I know. It was getting a little dark actually. <laughs> yeah. I got the, and, and you got the new scruff going, which is, which is pretty cool. Are we going to have that at the experience? I don't know. That's going to be an experience in itself. <laughs> we'll see. So, so Jonathan, but, but seriously, you know, like traditionally, what is like a garment or an item you would make for a, a traditional camp or clinic or tournament? You know, from my experience, it's like, Hey, you get like one shirt and, and, and that's it. And, and it's cool. Yep. Do, do you want me to go into some specifics? I didn't know how much you, yeah, you, can, to... you, you, can, you can kind of tell people what to expect in the first chapter here, what they'll get as a baller. Okay, cool. I didn't know if I didn't. I didn't know if anything was a secret. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, a lot of people don't realize. Yeah. Yeah. We have our own apparel, but like I said before, we are a custom printer. So I, my shop, I create everything you see on our website. We create in my shop. It's all custom printed. You know, in a facility that I own. The machinery's ours. Like we're a true screen printing, embroidery, and custom merchandising shop. Um, so as a result of our company being around racquetball for over a decade, we print more tournament shirts than any. Uh, any screen printer in the country, basically. Um, and typically it's, you know, it's a t-shirt. It's got a logo on it. It's got sponsors on the back. You know, I always, I always joke, you know, one of the ways I pitched myself in the beginning 
was people would come to me and say, yeah, you know, put a guy diving and two cross rackets and, you know, throw sponsors on the back and call it a tournament shirt. And I'm like, right. well, that's boring. <laughs> let's start actually like, if we're custom designing our stuff, let's custom design your stuff too. You know, so that's kind of how we started setting ourselves apart. And then we started trying to find better garments, but, you know, still tournaments are, they're on a budget. They're doing stuff that's cheap is not cheap not a quality standpoint but cheap from an expense standpoint because there's not a lot of money in racquetball tournaments but now the ballers are going to be getting there there's two different high quality uh u.s team level dry fits uh and there's a really really sick um warm-up jacket that everyone's getting that's with some custom designs it's they're it's phenomenal i mean it's a i would say it's a 150 dollar prize package easily if you're going retail well, 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 that's pretty damn specific. You know what? I might, I might have to cancel Veronica's shirt now. Or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though her shirt's about this big. So. About that big. Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's, it's really, it's, it, the stuff came out awesome. It's really cool. Um, I think, I, I think everyone's going to love it. Yeah, it, it was fun. Kane and I designing that and, and sending it to you and you just, it was like whammo and, and, you know, Kane, with that, you know, if nothing else, I think we'll let Jonathan go back, get some sleep. Hopefully he's got a five month old. And uh, Jonathan, I just want to say real quick, thank you. Cause you and I uh, also are going to be working together to develop my line and we'll get deeper into that later. Yep. And uh, I just want to say that's just some exciting stuff and everybody will be seeing that soon. Yep. And uh, with that, Jonathan, again, you know, we can't thank you enough, you know, your commitment uh, besides the professionalism, your love for racquetball, you know, we know, let, let's talk about this real quick because it's out there. You know, you are so deep and heavy into racquetball, but obviously now you're pretty big and deep into pickleball too. So sure. we, would you care to touch on that a little bit? Because I've always said, you know, Jonathan, you know, he came to racquetball and, you know, yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of going that way a little bit, understandably, because we've had discussions on some of the things that have gone on in, in the sport. Um, you know, can you touch on that just a little bit before we let you go? Absolutely. Yeah. So six years ago, I actually got recruited into pickleball before I even knew anything about the sport. Um, we went down to us open, uh, pickleball championships as basically we got recruited as our screen printing shop to do the merchandise sales had nothing to do with a brand or anything like that. We were literally the, you know, the, the t-shirt guy at the, at the tournament selling souvenirs, um, went down and just saw the potential business wise of the sport and said, man, look what I've done in racquetball over the past decade. I can do this again, you know, and, you know, it's been a fun six year ride. I mean, I, I have actually, I, you know, people aren't going to like saying this, but I have found a passion for the game as well. Um, I compete now, I play a lot uh, and I do, and I do love it. And we've developed a brand that is pretty much as strong as rollout is in racquetball. Uh, we've built another brand in pickleball. That being said, you know, when COVID hit, um, you know, pickleball kind of, skyrocketed because it was mostly an outdoor sport racquetball for a bunch of different reasons kind of tanked for a year you know and and i really didn't i didn't innovate i didn't put out new products i really didn't do much one because there wasn't much to do um and, and they're just really the, the the sales went down so it didn't make sense to you know pump time or energy into something that really just was kind of dead in the water for a while you know and i kind of saw my not my spot but i i saw some things slip away in, in racquetball a little bit and you know, I didn't like it, you know, because at the end of the day, yeah, I'm, I'm in two different sports now, but to me, me being in pickleball is no different than I have a screen printing shop and we have a client that's a, a solar installer that we do a ton of work for. It's just a different industry I'm involved in. I'm still a racquetball player. You know, I'm, I was a, I competed in racquetball long before I had the company. Like I, I love this sport and I kind of looked at it like, you know, if everyone thinks that I'm going, you know, everyone's always a pickleball guy now. Eh, no, no, no. We're going to, so as of January 1st, I relaunched the entire company, relaunched the website, the largest product launch I ever did. And I basically just wanted to say to the sport, I'm still here. And all these new guys coming in, you're going to have to still play catch up to me. You know, I, I remember when I was coming up, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big, I love the history of the sport. You know, I came up, you know, uh, uh, Crew West was, was the big one when I, when I was first mm -hmm. coming in. Uh, I know you, you've talked to me about courtesy sports a lot. That's a little before my time, but I know about the history, you know, but courtesy sports crew West one shot, you know, I was, I was a fan of all those companies. And at one time I was a guy trying to chase those companies. Well, now I'm that guy with people trying to chase me. So as I, it's just like sports. If I see people getting closer and closer, it's time to put the foot on the gas and say, no, you're, you're going to have to do a lot more work to catch up with me. You know, I've got, I've got 13 years ahead of you and you know, you're not, I'm not losing my spot anytime soon. So 
that's kind of what what that's also what drove me to stuff this year you know let's do stuff different let's try stuff let's create partnerships you know we're launching a partnership with the experience you and i Sudzy. i'm i just launched a partnership with the manias you know different cool outside the box stuff let's 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 shake the sport up a little bit and let's uh let's have some fun I, I, Kane, listen, I'm going to put you on the spot. So, Jonathan, here's what I think you should do immediately. Sign him to go play pickleball because he'll be number one in the world in that in about 27 minutes also. So, <laughs> you, dude, you have, you have no idea. You, <laughs> you would – forget it. Yeah. What, what, <laughs> yeah. what, John, what the, he doesn't understand is that Sudzy and I, prior to this, signed a contract for Sudzy to be my agent <laughs> in pickleball. Dude, well, if, if you went into pickleball – this is all I'll tell you. Pickleball is 90% hands. Oh, That's all no, hands. I, 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 I say it all the time. That's he's all got the, the He's got the greatest hands in the history of our sport. I've said it. I'll say it forever. And it's not just like, here's the deal, racquetball people. I'm not talking about like when somebody hits a ball. I've been on the court with them. I've been against them. I've seen it. I've been against all of them. His ability to manipulate the ball at any speed or height and then change direction and then do it with consistency it's the best i've ever seen and then i can name some really good ones too but yeah once he figures that out if he wanted to there's no doubt like i tell daniel and alvaro don't talk to me till you guys are number one in the world in pickleball and i literally deny their calls until until they do that <laughs> so, hey, I'm, I'm throwing a twenty five thousand dollar tournament in new jersey in august just saying kane <laughs> can, we, can we be ready for that? Let me, let me talk with my agent. We'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk offline. <laughs> so call, like, call me first so we can get on yeah, the same we'll, page. We'll discuss it. But, I, you know, there's there's <laughs> rumors that Kane and I might have to play some racquetball together, too, just to, you know, accelerate this. We can we can do both, maybe. Not Nothing to do with Alex, not dumping Alex, just Kane and I being part of something. So, anyway, Jonathan, have a great night. We really appreciate it. You know, get some rest. Uh, you got five-month-old. And, you know, everybody that's going to be part of the experience, you're going to love your gear. Uh, you're going to love the new gear we're coming out with. We'll talk a lot yep. more about that. And, uh, Jonathan, have a great night. We'll talk soon. Thank you, guys. I, I truly mean it when I say it's an honor. And thank you for letting me be a part of this team. Um, it means a lot. So thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate the support. You got it. Have a good night, hey, guys. Good night, buddy. Hey, Scotty, are we going to a quick commercial or are we staying here with Kane and I? We might stay here with Jonathan too, don't you? I love live I'm television. Good. I, I love <laughs> live. I love live television. We are going to go to a quick commercial. So everybody, don't move. We'll be right back because then Kane and I are going to talk a little bit and uh, fill you in on some cool stuff. Thanks, Jonathan. You got it. Have a good night, guys. All right. We're back or all right, Kane, we're back live, buddy. So, Hey, you know, great. Thank you to Donald. Thank you to Jonathan Clay. And of course, you know, there's one more person that did commit to us, Carlos Cabrera, but he couldn't get here tonight. Uh, he's going to be, well, he, we're hosting it, but he's the sponsor of a cool breakfast for everybody Sunday in Vero beach. So Carlos, we know you couldn't be here. We really appreciate it. You know, thank you again for your support. So, Thank Donald, you. Jonathan, and Carlos, you three, you know, you're the only three that are really part of the experience uh, from a supportive financial support standpoint. And Kane and I really appreciate it. But, but Kane, you know, we also have, a, a, you know, our, our team that people may not know. Freddie Ramirez from Restrung Magazine will be there. And yep. he's going to be gathering a ton of content, some incredible social media stuff. Robbie Partovich. Robbie Partovich is going to be taking pictures all weekend he just wanted to be there and uh we appreciate that and of course yeah. scotty mack scotty mcclellan you know he's definitely part of our administrative team and keeping up keeping us in line and crossing the t's and dotting the i's so thank you to all three of you as well yeah no great great to have them on board i mean obviously you know we've we've obviously experienced you know robbie and freddie 
uh, in our careers, obviously, for, you know, at tournaments. So uh, they do a <laughs> phenomenal job. And, uh, and of course, Scotty, you know, we, maybe we should tell him right now that, you know, we, it was just a ploy to get him there to tell him, you know, <laughs> that he was going to ref us. <laughs> yeah, no. Scott, yeah, yeah, he's going to ref us. But then the linesmen, I think, are going to be like our two teams, like Team Kane and Team Sudsy. And uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It'll, it'll be fun either way. It'll but, be hey, a lot of fun. Talk a little bit about, you know, for people that don't know, because this is chapter one, right, of our mm -hmm. experience, which, which is our first one. And we're big on this is not a camp. This is not a clinic. And it's really not. So, you know, talk a little bit about from, from the way that you and I saw it and how we built this whole idea and, and built this experience. Yeah. So, you know, again, right, like we touched on it earlier. I mean, it was really all about different right and uh you know you know people do camps like you said you know and they, there's you know i've been to a couple when i was younger and you know it's just one of those things that it just seems to be redundant just over and over in the same thing and there's nothing wrong with that type of stuff um you know i mean i think that it's still exciting to go to a camp no matter what um but we want it different you know and uh we're kind of at a at a point in racquetball where it it's not really too many different things happening, uh, you know, and, and so uh, obviously the combination of myself and, and you obviously, you know, speaks volumes as far as in the racquetball world. And so, uh, you know, again, we just, it was just really about different, you know, uh, there was two words that were often brought up and it's different and experience, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, we want it to be different and we want it to be an experience for these, for these uh, people, you know, and uh and uh, just change it up. Yeah, we, you know, right, right out of the gate when we started talking about it, like you said, we, we've both been to camps and clinics, those traditional ones. We both taught at them and helped with them. And again, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, and you get a lot out of it and it's cool. But, you know, you and I, when we talked about it, we wanted to make sure that the experience for everybody was at the end of the day, the coolest racquetball experience they ever had in their life. And you and I really came to a reality where, you know, we both said there's things we're very good at and we can do, but we just don't want to, right? Like, you know, I, I could absolutely teach mechanics and footwork on how to execute and hit a backhand and, and you can teach mechanics and hold, hold a grip and hit a forehand or a serve and, and anything we want and all those things in between. But the real value of being able to be with you or myself and really get inside these brains and discuss you know, the who, what, where, how, when, and why is what we really want to bring everybody. I mean, yeah, I can't wait to just be with you and hear you and I'm me to hear what you have to say on certain things. You know, don't, yeah, don't, tell, yeah. don't, don't tell me about footwork. Like, I know it's, that's important, but I want to know what you're thinking while you're going to execute certain things and do certain things. And to be able to bring that, you know, you and I both said, hey, what do we really like to do? Because that's what's gonna, that's when they're gonna feel our energy and passion versus get your elbow up and do this and do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, like there's nothing wrong with that type of learning, obviously, though, that, that's really, that's important. Um, you know, I, doing more clinics and exhibitions like I've been doing, uh, you know, it's interesting. You know, a lot of people, they just wanna play, they wanna yeah. get on the court and have that experience of being on the court with me hitting a, you know, hitting a serve at them, hitting some different shots. And obviously we obviously have a lot of fun as well too. Um, this will be obviously a little bit more on the serious side of things. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I think that, you know, obviously just getting on the court, even though we have two other partners and we're not in a tournament, it, it'll be fun to compete against each other. And, you know, and I'm sure there'll be some serious moments and there'll be some laughs too as well. And, uh, you know, uh, I think that, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the people that are going to be there, um, are just going to have a great experience. I'm excited. I'm excited to, uh, to do this. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And you and I continue to work daily and, and obviously our team, you know, as far as making sure that everything's right. And, and we're still learning too, you know, you and I today, we were on the phone, you know, on a, on a, on a video call for about an hour and, you know, we're learning too. And, and, and I know what's so awesome working with you as well as, we're both taking this on as we would to try to win an event or be the best player in the world or, or be the best in the history of something. And like, we want to give that to the people, you know, as far as once the experience is actually taking place 
all of that will come out natural, right? Like we always say, the easy part is being on the court playing. That's easy. You know, that's, yeah. we yeah. want them to take advantage of the time they have with us as well. And, and, you know, it's going to be a great time. And that's why we set up that dinner, uh, you know, that great dinner on Saturday night as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that, you know, all, I don't know about in, in, in your career. I mean, you, you were kind of a little bit more charismatic during your career than, than me. I was kind of more reserved and, you know, kind of more to myself, oh, which no, I know you weren't you know. maybe just out in the open. <laughs> well, well I, I mean, but that's what I'm talking about. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, when I came to a tournament, I was there for one reason and one reason only, and that was to win. And, and that was it, you know, and, and I, I think that throughout my career, at times there was a misconception about how I was as a person, you know, and I, and I understand it, you know, I, I get it. Um, but this is also a great opportunity for people um, to see us in a different light as well, too. And, and, you know, and, you know, I feel like, you know, in, in during, you know, all, a lot of my career, you know, it's like, some people don't understand that that's our job and we're there to win. And that's just the bottom line. And so, you know, it's, it's no disrespect, but like, I don't want to sign an autograph before I play right before, right before I play or, and I, and don't, I, I have done it and stuff like that, but there are just certain behavioral things that we have as pros and we're there to get a job done. And so, you know, I, I like that aspect of it, you know, and of, 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 having it more uh, also it's it's competitive but it's also you know get to know us a little bit more on the personal side as well yeah there's no doubt I mean it's funny you know listening to you say that because you know when you first came on tour and, and you say I was just there to win you know that's something Cliff and I both recognized you know one of the main differences which is something we see you know lacking from some individuals today and, and that's you know that's not your fault that's nobody's fault it's just different um, obviously, you know, goats come along very few, far and few between for a reason. And, you know, but that's something Kane, don't ever change that. You know, thank God you were like that. You know, that's yeah, part of why yeah. you are no, where I mean, you are today. Got, you know, that the, wiring. Got, yeah, no, I got the job done. I mean, you know, I, you know, a great example I can give you is, you know, early on, you know, kind of one of my biggest competitors was Jack Huzak. Sure. And, uh, I heard a lot of bad things about how, when he would lose or right before when he'd get at the club and, you know, I never really had the best relationship with Jack. I didn't have a horrible relationship with Jack, but it was always competitive. And, you know, I'd always tell the people like, I mean, he, whatever he has to do, like, do I agree with it? Not really, but he probably doesn't agree with some things that I do. So, you know, but we're there to do a job and we're both trying to, trying to win and we both have different ways to get there. Yeah. I mean, th this could be a whole nother conversation, but yeah, you definitely approached it as a professional. And, and again, Cliff and I, and Jason and Ellie and Doyle, and we all looked and we knew that, you know, you were going to be a force uh, immediately. And that was quite, well, I think also, you know, you look at the, you look at the demographic of it too, right? Like that was a, that was a time where, you know, not saying that it's not worth it now, but that was a time where you could go to a tournament and win 10 grand. You know, um, you know, and, and as, as, you know, as, you know, me growing up and watching, you know, you know, watching you guys play. And you know, I remember there was a tournament where, you know, first place, I think used to be a car, you know, Correct. Yeah, um, that's right. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, you know, growing up, you know, you know, and I think that also too, that might be one of the reasons why we don't have another person like our mentality, like, you know, is that right now financially it's a it's a struggle and so to put 110 percent into it can be hard sometimes you know um whether you're 15 time four time world champion or you're just trying to be the one number you know first time world champion it's hard when the financial side of it is a, is a little bit more difficult you know and so i think that in, we're in a we're in a time right now where it's it's kind of a an awkward time right now because there is real no financial benefit to someone going in there and training, you know, their butt off and, and, you know, and it's kind of sad to say, but I think that that's the reality of it. You know, I had, when I was younger and I, you know, or I was coming up, I, I did have that drive of that financial side of it as well too. the opportunity, not just to beat some of the great players that were on tour at the time, but also, I mean, make a living, you know? Yeah, it was definitely different, but you know, Kane, this is an interesting conversation. And I think that you and I should save this for another show. And, yeah, and let's do and it. Go that route, and and just kind of you know close out this show with with the experience. Something that was super interesting too. We did um, 
we did kind of a survey, you know, and, and we found the three most intriguing or most desirable um, things about the experience that people wanted, ballers that are going to be there, and then people that didn't make it that, you know, we had a waiting list, which was pretty cool, right? We have a waiting list. And one of the original 12 did have to pull out for some personal yep. reasons. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing because that that spot was filled in literally 30 seconds. I guess you know, yeah. we could tell the story. One of us were on the court with somebody that we work with. And, you know, the, the notification came through to us and that individual immediately took that spot. So, uh, you know, he, we, and he was on the waiting list. So if you were on the waiting list, don't, don't think you weren't. So, uh, but, but, you know, the, the, the survey or, or the poll we took, which was interesting, the top three things um, was number one, they wanted the experience alone to be with us for the weekend. The second thing was to watch us play against each other. And then the <laughs> third thing, was the actual learning. And I found that very interesting, you know, because you and I are gonna, the whole time while we're there, the learning and the knowledge is gonna be given, being given to everybody right out of the gate. I mean, as soon as they arrive on Friday night. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, it's, it's, I mean, it's perfect. It feeds into exactly what we're, we're trying to accomplish. Yeah, that, that, that's what was cool. And that was, you know, so we, we definitely did that right. And again, you know, we're, we're always going to be open to any suggestions, especially, you know, the first 12, the original 12 ballers. Um, and then, and then you waiting list and everybody like that. And Kane, let's talk a little bit about chapter two, uh, you know, kind of what we're thinking, the dates, when, and how we'll go about that when we're going to open up the registration to the, the very limited spots we'll have as well. Yeah, I mean, we we don't really have a, a specific date in mind. We had we we juggled uh, with uh, the weekend before July Fourth, and then we thought about maybe doing one right on July Fourth, having a little um, little something special, uh, working on the place, obviously, um, you know. But uh, leaning towards Austin, so you know. Uh, um, you know, hopefully that'll that'll all go through. But uh, we're looking at the uh, the end of June there, or maybe even doing something real special for the the Fourth of July weekend. Yeah. So everybody, keep your eyes open because uh, we we are looking at end of June, early July, and uh, again, we're you know we're always going to try to we're gonna we're gonna try to keep raising the bar and do something special and unique. And you know that's when we're looking at chapter two. And we don't want to really get into chapter three yet, but I will say this, it could be right around the U.S. Open. And, uh, you know, with that, Kane, I think that was a, you know, we had a nice little show here. Thanked a few people. I uh, want to thank all the 12 original ballers, the 13, actually. It's unfortunate that one of you had to, uh, you know, for personal reasons, we understand. And then, of course, everybody on the waiting list. But when we do open up chapter two, there might be a pre-sale. You know, Kane and I are learning. We're always going to try to make it better and we're going to try to do top shelf and make it better for you. So we're open to all of that. As far as the actual experience, you know, again, just to throw this out there, Kane, no, our match will not be live. <laughs> you know, that is definitely no, no, special. No. Yeah, the game we play or whatever we do, it will not be live for everybody. That's going to be very special and unique to the ballers. Kane, you want to touch on that? Yeah, no, I mean, it's very simple. I mean, you know, we think that, um, you know, there's been an, in in the past and even currently there's this overwhelming, you know, interest in in us playing. And we think that that's a really uh, unique um, opportunity to give our, our ballers, you know. And so, uh, you know, obviously, you know, it's going to be fun to get on the court and play and, and, uh, and battle again. Um, but yeah, I mean, we just, we think that it's, again, we think it's really a, a unique opportunity for the ballers and we wanted to make it special and, you know, not everybody gets, you know, to see me and, you know, me and you play. And so uh, it's a nice little, uh, nice little ending to the experience. Yeah, it'll, it'll definitely be fun. And, and I haven't told Kane this, but I'm going to tell him now while he's here, uh, book your flight for Monday because that Sunday night, let's do the show from Florida. So leave Monday and uh, you and I'll do our Sunday night beyond the court. And maybe we'll invite a baller or two if they're there and, and just kind of, you know, go over a refresh. But, you know, something cool about the ending, you know, which I think this might happen in the future moving forward. And you and I have talked about this, you know, chapter two, maybe it's you and I playing against two special guests. Maybe. Something, something very cool. And those guests wouldn't be amateurs, by the way. You know, we're no, talking. <laughs> no, they wouldn't be. They would be, they would be, uh, 
they would be high level competitors as well. So, so we got our first hit. Somebody wants us to do the July 4th barbecue with Kane and Sudsy. So we'll, we'll talk about that. But uh, anyway, Kane, thanks again. Uh, you and I obviously will be talking often and be seeing each other soon. Thank you for tonight. And uh, hello to everybody. I know you're busy with kids and everybody for joining us. Thank you. You know, share this, get it out there. You know, if you're interested in chapter two of the experience, just pay attention to the social media. You know, we're, we're not really giving, nobody's going to have a, uh, I don't know, a first right or anything. We'll, we'll be promoting it. Um, but if you have any questions, info, feedback, critique, we'd love to hear it. It's easy to get a hold of us. Social media, we have our email is kaneandsudsy at gmail.com. Uh, any suggestions, any places, we're here for you. You know, we are racquetball. It's just a decision. You can be with Kane and I, uh, maybe in chapter two. So everyone have a great night. Have an amazing Easter, and we will see you soon. Thank you. We'll see you guys.